Go to Tucson. Tucson. Two Tucson. All right. All right, what we got? Okay. Old school Tucson. Yeah. Picked this up on the secondary market. And uh, it was wrapped as new out of a collection. Let's see. Oh, man, is that nice. Wow. I mean, it's got a factory edge on it, for sure. It's a night morning design. D2, titanium, titanium backspacer. A wonderful jimping back here. Look at this. Titanium pocket clip. Really stiff. I think I'm going to like that. How's this action? Ooh, that lock bar is stiff. And the action stiff, too. Hey, let, let me, uh, you already know, you can see on the screen. But let me see if I can't figure out what this thing is. Okay. It is a TS-57. And I'm not going to spend too much time messing with this, because, man, is that lock tight. I mean, I'm going to see where that's lined up, and we're going to get in it. Like, right out of the gate. Very thin knife. I like it. I like it. Yes. And I think if I can get that action tuned up, I'm going to like it even more. I mean, there is no room for me to mess with this action. None. That's literally where it was locked up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to clean it up because it's filthy. Look at it. I mean, woo. It's nasty. I wish I had a dirty towel because that's how bad it is. Really like this blade. Yeah, it had a smattering of grease in there. I mean, what kind of grease is that? Is it wheel grease? Bearing grease? Is it... I mean, it's not knife grease. Another old school knife. It's got the washers. The uh, rubber washers to uh, help lock everything down. But not have to use Loctite. I can do anything with this lock bar. I think I'm stuck. Oh no, we'll see. I'm not going to admit defeat till I'm defeated. Till the fat lady sings. Can you even say that anymore? Like, there's so much we can't say, man. I mean, surely there's been a controversy of that thing. <clears throat> being connected to sports and surely somebody or something's come after that and said, hey, you're not supposed to say that no more. You can get me ranting about PC. It is, uh, you know, being in the professional world, I've learned how to speak, right? But my natural go-to um, is, is probably a degree or 50 off of center. 
Ask anybody. <laughs> All right, internal stop pins. It's kind of nice. Nice little feature on this older OG little Tucson. Been around for a while. Maybe five or six years, I would venture. Maybe seven. 2016, 2017, 2015, 14. I mean, somewhere in there, right? As far as I know, man, there's just no legitimate way to track these down. Now, I have a spreadsheet, and I keep it updated here with me. I don't share it all the time, uh, every time I update it, but I do try to keep it fairly updated. I'm going to put this in and kind of see where I'm at, because maybe I saw that wrong. Because, man, is it tight. And uh, if I saw it wrong, I might be able to take a little bit of tension out of this. I don't think I did, though. I think I was looking at it perfectly. Yeah, I was. That inside edge is on that outside edge. I mean, it appears to be improving, so let's let's take it from that angle. I'm not going to adjust that lock bar at all. I'm going to leave that tension alone and see if we can't work the action a little bit. The knife does look really nice. I don't see any snail trails. I don't see any evidence of wear on the blade. Um... And I mean, all in all, it runs pretty well. It's just this is really hard to access. It's got a lot of tension on it. And so, let me see if I can't, I mean, everything's together. Let's see if I can't improve this action a little bit. I'm going to put some tension on that lock bar and see if I can't. I think I can get that out of there like that. I mean, action solid. It's just un unlocking that. <clears throat> that frame lock is stiff, but I can't I can't lighten it up at all because. For sure, I will create lock rock because that's where that's lining up right there is exactly where it lines up when the when the blade's not in there, and so I can't move it over any because man, it needs to be right there. So we're gonna leave it. Um, let's measure that act that action. How what would I call that? I mean, I'm gonna downgrade it to a B. The the actual snapping of ness of it, the detent is correct. The the uh, closing drop shut action is hydraulic. <clears throat> Pardon me. It takes a little bit of coaxing, but it's very smooth. It's wonderful. The problem that's going to downgrade this is how how much tension it takes here. And if you look that like this is. It's either not lowered or it's just slightly lowered. 
So even if I had this was a little lower and I could get better access, it would help. But trying to get my thumb on that and then get that over far enough to get out of the way of the blade, it's taken quite a bit of effort on my thumb and it's not comfortable. Yep. So I'm going to downgrade it to a B because of that um, for the action. I'm going to wipe it real quick. I mean, the actual action and how it functions, pretty solid. But unfortunately, this right here is going to, it's going to take some of that score away. Because the rest of it's really good. Very snappy, almost drop shut, very hydraulic. Yeah. Uh, ergonomics. <clears throat> Pardon me. Wow, does this thing feel good in hand. I mean, just the molding, the shaping of the scales where we are here two fingers and then two on the back so locked in not so co not so uh confident confident very confident good grief I had a frog in my throat um very confident i mean this thing's going to start sliding up towards very confident i am really really locked in on this knife reverse grip is super good and then this not so much i mean i can kind of get there but not really um, yeah, excellent ergonomics. Uh, let's check pocket clip. Pocket clip check. Yeah, it got over the thick stuff and it actually ran all the way. It's got a neat little, I don't know, art deco kind of look. Got some different little millings that are showing up here in the pocket. It's not a bad look. Excellent tension. Yeah, that's tornado tension. This is probably drier tension down here on standard jean size material. My spot back here, this thing will ride wonderfully back there. One hand in, one hand out. The pocket clip's a win. Let's check it for safety, see if I can make blade contact. Nope. So the tip's good, the clip's good, and I can handle this knife any old way I want. I'm not going to make contact. It's got wonderful milling and all the titanium. And all these edge millings, of course, they just lend themselves to ergonomics. Yeah, everything's... This is a great little piece, man. What a little stinger. Wonderful little pocket stinger. I wonder if it's sharp. I wonder... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Out of the box, man. I, I sort of see where we're polished up on the blade. And so I'm going to say that it's been stropped. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. But this is kind of what I've been talking about. I think you can see there's a contrast from the bevel itself up onto the very edge of the blade. And man, that's that little ghost. See it there? That little ghost run. And that's from stropping the knife. It polishes, it polishes that edge. And that shows up. Yeah, so, I, you know, especially if you're looking on a collector's piece that you're going to maintain as a collector's piece, be really careful about stropping them because that shows up. And I can see it on this knife. Somebody has stropped this knife and it has polished the bottom edge of that blade. Now, is that a big hairy deal? I mean, maybe to some it's not, but for me as a collector's piece... I mean, this this knife goes from from new, uh, never carried, never handled, uh, part of a of a Tucson collection to this is a used piece now, because of that stropping polishment across the edge of the blade right there. Yep. So I, you know, when and if I ever went to sell this piece or the collection, this one would be represented as used. It's not out of the box new. Somebody 100% polish that up. So be be aware of that if you're stropping your knives to mess with the edge. That's why you'll always see me being very cautious to stay high up on the bevel if I'm going to strop a non-user. Anyways, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Pretty cool little retro piece, man. Wonderful ergonomics. I mean, this is one that if they came out with this... Uh, a new version of this, especially in an upgraded steel, I mean, I I would be seriously looking at it 
and maybe put it in my pocket. But this might keep me from it because it, just the nature of this short lock bar and the small cutout, if I widen this or deepen this, I could probably get that to be more flexible and it'd be a little more comfortable. But of course, I'm not going to do that. Appreciate y'all watching.